Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to another video on Abstract Thesis series. And in today's video, we are going to discuss how can we show a grand total or average of you know all the rows in a visual. Now this is a problem like if I have uh, any visual and I want to show grand total, how do I show? Because Power BI doesn't give an option in any of the visuals to show us the grand total. Okay, so if I have a visual like this and let's say I have brand and I have net and let's say I want a grand total row or maybe I have similar visual, I have brand and I have margin and I want to have an average margin row. So how do I do that? Now, if we look at the properties, let's say grand total or anything like as total, we don't have any option to add that. Let's say, is there an option to add some field here? There is no option here. So few days back, I've done a video where we have converted a single select slider into multi-select. And I think that is the same approach we should be able to do it here. Now I'm going to do it only for the brand right now, but same can be replicated for other things or you can, you know, do it for the complete dimension if you want. I'm just doing for one part of it. So what I'm thinking here is I have this table item and I'm going to create a table with brand and then I'm going to use that. And let, I'll tell you how I want to create that table. So first of all, let me go here. And I'm going to create a table which is brand all. So how I'm going to create this table? So I'm going to create a table brand all. Brand all. And brand all is nothing but summarize item table. Item. Item brand. And it will have a second column. Again, it, which will be known as all brand. And I will have item and I will have here max of item brand. Now because the same thing is coming in this table again, so it's going to be same values. So brand and brand value. Now I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to say union and look at what I'm planning to do. I just take this one, copy paste, alt enter, alt enter. And this time, instead of taking this max brand, I simply take all. And I then create one more table. Now this table has all the entries of the brand. And then this table also have all the entries of brand with all. So brand with the brand name, brand with the all name. Now we go here, we create a new layout. In that new layout, we have an item table. We have this brand all table. We join it on brand. And this is a many to many relationship. The only thing you can do is uh, if you want, you can say single brand all items. So cross filter direction is, you know, single brand all filters item. That's the thing you can do if you don't want a bi-directional join. So what would happen that this is going to filter this table. That's what you can do, but this is not going to do with universe direction. So we have to test it. So let's go ahead and look at it. So now what we are going to do is let's make one of this visual a little bit small. And let's make this visual also a little bit small. Place them side by side. Now let's have one more copy this visual and double it up. And let me do one thing now. So I was using a brand here. Okay, you can see I'm using brand here. So instead of brand, let me go to the brand all and start using all brand. Now you can see, and we have to compare values. So brand eight is one million, around one million, and this is also around one million. But and I and I know my total of net is around seven point eight. Okay, that's my total row. Now this total row is now coming at the start, and you want it at end, then you can add a sort column. Now the sort column is something when you can say uh, all the brands have the similar index, which what brand has, 
and then I can have higher index for this one. So it will automatically get sorted when I sort it. Okay, otherwise right now what happens if I sort it, let's say, I can, in this case I can say sort descending on the all brand and it will go at the end. So I can have at all at the end or you can create a sort column into it. Now let's duplicate this one and we have to check whether, you know, uh, this one is giving me the average or not. And all is coming somewhere in the middle. We don't need it in the middle. I go here and say sort axis, all brand, sort axis, and it's already descending, so you can see. Now the overall average which is coming here is, let's look at that, is 13%. So we have to go here and check out what is my margin, card visual, 13%. What is my net card visual? Okay, 7.9 million. This was the number, and we can go here and say instead of auto none, 7896. That's the value which is coming, and we can look at it. So I got it. Now, sometime you will, would like to say that I want to show it in a different value. Now, different color. I want to show it in different color. Assuming you are not using legend, conditional formatting is enabled. So we can simply change the color of this row. So for that, we are going to create a major color major. And we say color all brand. And we say if max all brand, all brand equals to all, then let's say green else we can give blue color. Now you can give a hash, hash code with the, the uh, six digit hex code with the hash prefix or I, you can write down blue color. You can write down color of your choices so it is done. Now I can choose one visual let's say I choose this visual and then I go ahead here x axis values fx no, we don't want to color f axis values. We want to color the bars, isn't it? So we go to columns, f x, field value, color, all brand, and you can see this is again same way. I can go here, f x, field value, color all brand okay so I have a grand total so so there is an alternate now if you say I need it for category also item also and all those so maybe I replicate the item table same way and in all those column category brand one time I have their value second time I have all 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 that way that's the way you can do it so how do you like this trick thanks for watching this video thank you Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.